Okay, here we go, everybody. We are now on air. So, uh, hey, everybody. My name is John Ike. Uh, I am the Director of Instructional Technology for the Natomas Unified School District, and I am proud to be here with two of my good friends. Uh, let's introduce ourselves. Rob Chopin, go ahead and introduce yourself and introduce our guest. Hey, everybody. Happy Friday. And uh, Rob Chopin, Instructional Technology. Uh, with you here today, we've got Mr. David Griffin from uh, Intercom High School. And, uh, long time tech user, uh, learning more every day, and he's going to be talking to us today. Uh, and I, I should mention that uh, Mr. Griffin teaches uh, special ed here at, at Intercom High School, as, as well as um, talk to us a little bit today about how he uses technology with his uh, special ed students. So, very exciting. Thanks for being here, David. And um, You're welcome. Thank you for having me. David, okay. David, so tell us uh, real quick before you get started, brother, how long have you been at Intercom High School? I've been at Intercom for all of one year. Yes, yeah, so you, you just got here, and as you got here, we handed you an iPad. How much have you learned this year? Uh, an amazing amount. I've gone from uh, uh, knowing not even how to turn it on <laughs> to uh, past beginner. Uh, now the next courses will be the uh, the advanced courses. So uh, I, I have the uh, pretty much all the basic functioning down, uh, but there's still a lot of gizmos in there I haven't figured out. And I bring it up. I only bring it up for all of those out there watching this broadcast in Google Landia. Um, look, David is one of my favorite people because all year he's like, hey, uh, how do you do this? And then he's figured it out. Like I've, I, your learning curve, David, has been unbelievable. I've watched you do amazing things this year. And um, anyway, man, shout out to you. So, David, the way the format works here every week is we do um, uh, two-minute demo slam. So each of us gets two minutes to kind of shout out and explain uh, uh, something cool. Uh, who wants to go first this week? I mean, David, you want to uh, lead us out of the gate, or Rob, you want to? Well, if that's okay, Rob, okay? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, take it away, yeah. All right, okay. ladies and gentlemen, uh, David Goodman, tell us what you got, brother. Okay, I am. Uh, I have worked uh, since the, uh, almost the beginning of the year in my class with using my uh, iPad uh, with the Apple TV in the room to, do, uh, to project and to do my math work uh, with the kids. I found the screen... Kids are screen oriented. There's no doubt about it. And and uh, I found it was the first time I realized how distracting I can be in front of a classroom when I saw how absolutely riveted the kids were when I wasn't standing in front of them. Wow! Right. And uh, having said that, uh, I wanted to take it to a next step because one of the problems we have in special ed is that our kids obviously have a long history of. Uh, I hate to use the word failure, but they've had so many difficulties in getting things that they're afraid to strut their stuff in front of a group because the bigger you strut, the bigger you fall when you fail. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have just been uh, given uh, 10 of, of these mini iPads. In fact, if I can, I'll show you. I've got, uh, we just did a little creative uh, hooking up here. And I've got, Check it out. Right. That's my charging station. We had it uh, permanently attached to the filing cabinet and it has a lock on it so that it's totally secure and and uh, having said that uh, we are in the process right now of getting the uh, apps to work on them they have the apps that are built in but we're having a little problem uh, with the uh, getting the new apps but when we do the one that we're shooting for is a combination of it's called Answer it and ask it, and it's uh, what it is. It's a oh, excuse me, tap it and answer it, and what it is is uh, cloud-based. Where I, as the teacher, have like I'm looking on my screen right now. Every one of the kids in my class will be available to me, and I can have a private chat with each of them. I can give individual work to them. I can do it in small groups of people with like skills. And the best part of it is they can feed the work back to me without peer review, which can be very humiliating when they're trying something new. It gives them a lot of, lot of courage. And then when we do do the peer review, it's after we've perfected it, and they can actually do it and strut their stuff. That's so awesome. that to me, and now granted, we're getting a really late start on this, but that's okay. We're getting the kids used to using the equipment, and we're going to come out of the uh, out of the thing running uh, at the beginning of next term because that's 
you know, we have many things we're going to use. We use Edge of Creations already, Dossieri, and um, a number of others. But this is the one that's going to allow us the contact that we need to uh, create this diversified, individualized uh, education program for each kid where you can monitor them individually. Wow, that, that is fantastic, man. So uh, so you guys are kind of getting that kicked off right now, but you're planning in the fall to just nail it and, and come out of the box running on that. Absolutely. Right on, man. Well, congratulations to you. I'm, I'm fired up. Quick shout out to the uh, special ed department and Tomas Unified School District using some grant money to get you those 10 iPads for you and your kids. So, uh, you know, a little, little hooray for, uh, for that. Uh, that is, uh, on fire. So, hey, nice work, David. Uh, Rob, you want to Rochambeau for who goes next? Sure. All right, brother. Here we go. Rock, paper, scissors on three. One, two, three. Okay, you're up. Well, you call it. Oh, was that paper? That was paper. Is it paper? Okay, then I'm up. Uh, you know, I think you're cheating. You want to go first or next? Or you want to go second? I'll go now. I'll go. I'll go now. I just. Wait, 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 I, 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 I gotta. I just gotta uh, t dovetail on uh, on uh, Mr. Griffin here and uh, the pushing the apps out to those iPads. He's venturing into new land with uh, pu pushing the the apps out remotely and uh, paving paving the way by doing that. So um, thanks again. Um, more to come on that later. Yeah, sure. yeah it's gonna be. Yeah, my my demo. Hey, there's Doug Doug Orr. Quick, Doug Orr stopped by. He's part of the demo tour today. Uh, uh, to the audience. All right, uh, Rob, I'm putting the timer on. You got two okay. minutes. Okay. All right, let's do it. It works. Here we go. And uh, whoop, whoop, stop, reset, and hit it. Okay. So what I'll be demoing today. Is uh, are you? Let's see. Are you seeing my screen or not yet? I'm not. Uh, ne uh, we're seeing your uh, uh, demo protected off. sheet. Let me let me try this again. Uh, desktop start screen share. Well, what I'll be demoing today is. Do you see this now? Yeah, we told. We got you. We got okay. you. All right. Um, with we've been talking a lot about Google Docs. Uh, today I'm in uh, Google Spreadsheets. So uh, a question came up on how to protect columns um, for many reasons, but this specific reason is actually here at Intercom High School and a way to uh, protect columns so teachers could enter things, and, uh, but only into one specific column. So um, the, the way to do this is, and it's a great feature, is uh, to simply uh, right-click or double-click here and we're probably familiar with all of these things here. But you can actually protect the sheet. When I click on that, I get an option to uh, name the sheet, which I named semester one and two in advance for time's sake. Uh, but I can either protect the, uh, a specific range within the sheet, or I can protect just the sheet itself. So I have two sheets open here. Uh, I can uh, protect the entire sheet, or if I click on the range, which is the really cool part, I've uh, protected range uh, A2 through A30, okay? Uh, then I can set my permissions here. This doc has been shared uh, well with myself and John Ike, and I can now uh, give permission levels, you can only comment, for just this area. So, uh, and what happens is this area will now be grayed out for that individual user. And again, I just want to be clear that, you know, they can still see the data, it's more for uh, errors and typing in the wrong columns. So, um, and for this case, it was to, uh, te textbooks and uh, equipment returns so that people are entering in the right columns. But um, lots of great uses for that and, and another really cool uh, feature of, of, uh, of Google and specifically Google Spreadsheets. Do I have any time left, John? Or yeah, 15 I? seconds, brother. 15, 15 seconds. seconds. I, I think that's it. I did want to show how it looked uh, when you go in. And you, yeah, it, slide it, over and show us what it looks like if, if that column is protected. Uh, jump over to uh, your, if you jump over to your other uh, account. So I had grayed out this area, and I think it's on this spreadsheet here. I think, I think you left it editable for that guy, so you for, only... Yeah, I changed it back. You only set comment rights for me is what you did. Okay. Well, anyway, just know this this whole part gets grayed out for that user, and they, they can see that they can't can't edit yeah. or mess up the document. Basically, that's a, that's a neat feature, Rob, just to cut in because you're out of time. And I told you I was holding your time. <laughs> like, imagine right sharing a spreadsheet with a group of people where in column A it said all their names, 
So the kids can't delete each other's names. Mm -hmm. but we allow them to put their data in column B. Or uh, I think it's a really cool feature. I'm definitely going to steal that demo and try and do something cool with it. I, I think it's cool. A uh, thousand uses. Yeah. Yeah, I got a two-minute demo. I got a cool demo on how to automatically open tabs in Chrome. Um, so uh, your your favorite tabs always open up. I made a little video. So I'm going to turn up the volume. Rob, you got my timer ready? Uh, I'm, I'm, tell me when to start. All right. And you see my screen? I think yeah. so. There's a little lag. Oh, and, you know. Yeah, I think you're good to go. Yep. Yeah, we got me. All right, here we go. Here comes my business. Hey, everybody. If you're like me, when you launch Chrome, uh, you start opening up tabs, right? So my first tab always is uh, my favorite tab, which is uh, Google Drive, right? So I got to go over here. I got to click on my Google Drive. That's simple, right? Then I open up another tab, and I got to have my music. So I type in Pandora. And the next thing is I open up my district tab, a tone machine to right? Because I got to be able to jump on there and search some stuff. And then I can go to my final tab and, and start getting to work, right? The problem is, is like, you know, clicking all those buttons is where's my fingers out. So what I do is I go over here to settings in my Chrome browser. And I say, hey, Chrome, um, whenever I open up Google Chrome, open up a specific page for me. It says, okay, John, set the pages. So I go to Natone Machinified, and I copy that, and I paste it right there. And you can see I'm going to hit OK and go to Pandora and copy that and go right there and paste it and say OK. And then I go over to Google Drive, and I copy that, and I go back to Settings. Whoop, and I paste it right there, and I say OK. And now I've got all my pages set. So when I quit Chrome, whoop. And I open it back up. Ta-da! It's opening up all my favorite tabs right there. And I know my music's going to start playing. And I can just get right to work. Wow. There you go. I hope that's so now, Am I right that this uh, uh, presentation is being saved, correct? <laughs> and no. I'll have access to it. Yeah, for sure, man. You know, it's on... Um, it's on our uh, on our uh, all these on air demos are now on our playlist uh, on on our Natomas Unified uh, YouTube account. But uh, also, yeah, that little video is out there on the web. Uh, I can send you a link. We'll throw a link on our little knowledge base at natomasunified.org under instructional technology. That'll be up there. But uh, yeah, man, there, there's a bunch of uh, great videos that Rob and I have uh, thrown up there this year to, to do things just like that. When I do an IEP, I always need access to my, uh, my administrator uh, outlook. I need uh, my SACE, which is the document bearing thing, and it always takes five minutes to get all this stuff in. That would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect, perfect reason to do that, uh, David. That's great. Well, hey, guys, I think that's, uh, that's a wrap for this Friday, right? Unless anybody's got anything good? Uh, it's Friday. I, I, I think that's good enough, right? <laughs> All right, you guys are the kings. I'll catch you guys next week for our last show of the year where we come out and we do some awards and some shout-outs across the district. Everybody, have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. You too. Bye, everybody.